Here are five things you should know if you're considering a career in software engineering. Startups operate very differently from big tech. One of the first things you'll want to think about before you start to apply for jobs is the kind of company you'll want to be at. You might have a specific part of the industry or interest that you'd like to pursue, but outside of that, think about what sort of work-life balance are you interested in. How long do you prefer to spend thinking about and planning out a new idea before you start coding it? Is it a little time or a lot? These are things you want to think about before sending out your initial job applications. You should not only be able to write code, but you should be able to read and to critique it. When I first started working as an engineer, this was the biggest adjustment for me. Although I had become extremely comfortable writing my own code and even going back and explaining it to others, when it came to reading someone else's code, I struggled. Everyone codes differently. Different people have different styles. So to get some practice in, go to GitHub and start reading the code of other engineers you know or follow and try to explain what they're doing in each repository. Along with being able to read and understand code comes explaining your decisions to others, whether that be other engineers or people from different teams like product or design. As an engineer, a lot of people will question the choices you make, whether that be in writing via GitHub or Slack or in person in a meeting. You want to make sure that you understand why you're making the choices that you're making and that you're able to explain your choices to others. Fortunately, you'll have many opportunities to do this. Unfortunately, this will usually be because you'll have a ton of meetings. Across the board, I found that from personal experience and from speaking with my peers, engineers spend a lot of their time in meetings. Whether these are meetings that require your active participation, like a stand-up where you share the progress you've made on your work and any blockers you might have, or meetings where you're more of a listener, like a presentation from the design team on the designs they prepared for the next feature, you'll be spending a lot of your time in meetings. This is just something to be aware of and something that I had no idea about when I decided to become an engineer. Finally, as you'll be interacting with others a lot and also because you'll be given a lot of flexibility in the way that you do your work, soft skills are essential. Regardless if you're a coding genius, if you're difficult to work with, getting and keeping a job will be tricky. If you're considering a career in software engineering, start working on your soft skills alongside your technical ones. In most engineering job interviews, they'll actually ask you to speak about a time that you had a problem with others at work and how you were able to resolve it. So be sure to have a few positive examples ready when you go into those interviews. If you're new here, hi, my name's Zoe. I'm a software engineer and former university professor who loves teaching folks how to code. If you're interested in starting a career in software engineering, click that first link in the description below. 